Hi everybody, Alyssa here from Preferred Physical Therapy where we help people age 40 plus stay active and independent, live free from painkillers, and avoid surgery. Today I'm going to talk about tendinosis and again, um, just the proper diagnosis of it and uh, how you know if you have it. So I go over my blog this week a little bit more in depth about this, but um, we often hear people will say they have a tendinitis. And ITIS or itis usually refers more to like an inflammatory condition where oftentimes we are seeing more people with like tissue overloading um, or just poor tissue quality versus an inflammation in the area. Um, so it's important that we know correctly what we're, what we're treating um, in order to proceed correctly. And so some of the common things um, you may find if you have a tendinosis would be the pain feels worse in the morning, especially when you first wake up. Um, your tissues haven't warmed up yet. They're not um, ready for that increased load. Um, it does, like I mentioned, it does feel better after it warms up, um, after you get moving in the morning, um, or after maybe, you know, those first few steps didn't feel, feel great, and then you start walking around a little bit more, you may feel that that discomfort in that area is, imp is improving throughout your day. Um, you also might find that the area feels extra sore, tender after you've exercised. Maybe that's, um, you've got, you do maybe have a little bit of swelling inflammation in that area after you work out, or that it just kind of feels sensitive to the touch, sore. Um, you might find that after exercises or you might just find that in general where if, um, especially if it's like your elbow like we're talking about in the blogs this month, that if someone were to come up and kind of press right around that bone on the outside of your elbow or the inside, you just kind of jump like it, it really lights that pain up for you. Um, that's a fair sign that you might have this tendinosis. Um, so again, um, when we're talking more about tendinosis, we're talking usually more about a tissue overload. So when we're talking kind of at the elbow, we may find that you have weak weakness in your shoulders, um, excessive tightness in through your forearms. You might be doing a lot of repetitive activity with your wrist, things like that, that can be contributing to that pain that you feel very point tender at the elbow. Um, you find that in different areas of the body, whether that's the Achilles tendon at your ankle, maybe the patellar tendon just below your knee. Sometimes we'll get it with people with their biceps tendon um, in the upper arm, and so it can happen in a variety of areas. The signs and symptoms tend to be fairly similar, like I mentioned. Once you get warmed up, it's a little bit better. If you do too much activity, it gets more flared up. It's fairly tender to the touch. And so in the blog this week, I go over some um, easy and helpfully um, simple tips for you to try to integrate into your daily life to see if that's contributing to the pain. Like we talked about, feel free to reach out to us. Check out the videos we've been going through for the elbow this month. Um, subscribe to our Facebook page to stay uh, up to date on those videos. And uh, give us a call if you have any questions. Thanks. Have a good week.